So, I don't know if you heard about it, but there's this new virus spreading, and I've done some research, and yeah, let's make a game. And we're gonna call it You Have Corona, because the doctor said that to me yesterday. I have no clue what he meant with that, but it sounds cool, so let's go for it. For the player, I'm just gonna use a normal capsule with two eyes and a headband, because why bothering, it's only the main part of the game, right? So, quick explanation why the headband is a square. And now let's make a 3D first person character controller. Now let's make some test environment and a bit of post processing. And wow, that was the first serious sentence in this video. So this character has Corona and I guess he wants to share it with some friends. So how does he do that? Exactly, with the handgun. Sorry for asking so easy questions. But there's one big problem, because this character has a hand, but no gun. Well, actually he doesn't have a hand either, but let's just do the gun, right? Here we are in Blender and this is the gun. Uh, no, wait, actually, this is the gun. No, this is the <laughs> What even is that? Trust me, I'm definitely gonna use this in the game. Anyways, here's the finished model, of course I made it myself, and yeah, let's give it to the player. What do I need to say? That looks awesome. Seriously, this weapon needs to be invented, like, it's so useful and handy. And yeah, here's some fun footage of me trying to fix the gun rotation. But eventually I made... Uh, eventually I made it and no, it totally didn't take me an hour to get that I just need to assign the gun as a child to the camera. Um, yeah. Seriously, why didn't I do this in first place? Now let's go to shooting. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to use raycasts instead of bullets. So, I've just created this muzzle flash myself. It looks absolutely shit. However, the asset store saved me once again, and now we have a giant waterfall and some explosions in the scene. I don't know what they're doing here, but... I'm gonna use them, maybe, somehow. And which map would fit better than our real world? And yeah, that's maybe the first thing I've modeled myself in this video. Let's go. 
Echo. And yeah, I've made some more hyper-realistic humans and they're walking around like idiots, but no worries, that's what they're supposed to do. I've gotta keep it realistic, right? Now the virus also spreads, just because I don't want to be shooting for 30 minutes straight. Well, that's pretty much it. Just kidding, but now I made a cooldown, so every single player or human or whatever can only infect someone else once every 5 seconds. Seriously, why didn't they make this in real life? That would have been so helpful. And I thought it was a cool feature that you could actually control every single human on this map. And so I made a ghosting mode where you can basically fly around as nothing. And once you click on an already infected player, you become that player and he gets a gun because normally they spread through contact. And here's the final gameplay, but I added some more things, such as water, teleporters, because you can't get over the water by walking, obviously, materials for the different continents, this airplane which I'm standing on, and yeah, you probably recognize it, right? And I also added a tab menu where you can see uh, how far the infection already spread, and a graph to that, and you can see the whole world through different camera angles, actually. Uh, sorry, misclick. And yeah, this is pretty much the end of the video, but it might not be the end of this game. Because, you know, I imported lots of effects such as explosions and stuff like that, and also the world map looks kind of boring. So maybe I make a part 2 or even part 3 and 4, uh, where I make this game even better. So make sure to like the video if you want to see that. Also leave a comment if you want me to publish a download link for this game. You could maybe try to beat my best time, well I actually only tried once, but here's the time I had. And definitely subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, because this channel is cool, I guess.